Thank you for tuning in to this special Vulcan Report Brexit edition. You're looking at a late night real time chart of the British pound sterling. As you can see, right after the 4 p.m. close, as we're getting late into the evening now, it's almost 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, you see that the pound was, it just exploded up to 150 and then dropped. I have not seen moves like this in the currencies, oh my goodness, and I don't know how long. We dropped from 150 to 140. A thousand pip move. Quite amazing. A thousand pips. And here we are now falling even more. We're at 140, 160 right now. A thousand pips. 150 to 140. And we're dropping again incredible price action happening right now parabolic super hyper parabolic moves coming in this pound they're doing everything in their power to try to persuade people to to, to vote to stay and it does not seem to be working I tried to explain in yesterday evening's video the, our end of day video how they, the, the pimperation of the people and how mass hypnosis and hysteria works where they keep putting ads and stuff and lying trying to manipulate the results saying that most people want to stay and the truth of the matter is most people want to leave the power base the power structure wants them to stay because then the European Union has more power they have more control over more territories in Europe that's what they want they want a centralized Europe with a centralized non-representative non-elected official power base that's what they want they want uh, 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 a cabal a few controlling the many okay that's what this is all about that's why they've been threatening that if you leave then there's going to be consequences we're going to crash and destroy your markets and your economy okay that's the threat saying you can't make it on your own it's cold out there it's cold outside it's freezing don't you want to come in from out the cold don't you want to come in here where it's warm and fuzzy and that's what they do they manipulate and they lie and say that it's going to be scary outside there are monsters outside don't you want to stay in here where it's warm and as you can see in this real-time chart the pound sterling is falling yet again about to test these lows this bar alone has a three almost four hundred point um, <laughs> length in it a high of 144.87 and a low of 140.81 again 400 points just in this bar alone look at this market now you may be wondering how is it affecting the US markets I'm glad you asked well as you can see here the Dow Jones throughout the day the US equity markets they ran it up just like I warned you I what did I say I told you it was a pump and dump I t I warned you that this was the blowing up of the balloon getting ready to pop before when they want to crash a market they always run it up first I've told you that time and time again those of you who've been with me who followed this channel for, for the last several years I've always warned before they crash a market they rally it up all right it's called a head fake it's called a bull trap all right those of you who bought this market on the close yesterday got trapped there's some people unfortunately that got cut up, caught up in this 18,000 level we dropped from 18,000 all the way down to 17,469 all right let that sink in that's a 600 point drop from top to bottom just in the just since the close the 4 p.m. close we you have now dropped 600 points in the Dow you're hurting 
You're hurting right now. You're wounded. You've been shot. I know. You're bleeding. You're hemorrhaging money. I understand. That's why I put the videos out to warn you. This is what we call volatility. In this case, extreme, extraordinary volatility. So what does that mean? It means that the volatility shares in the morning come the 9.30 uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time opening, you can expect volatility shares to just catapult into the atmosphere, the stratosphere, maybe even the ironic sphere, depending on how much worse this gets. But at the, as we do this video, you can see this real-time chart. The Dow is now down 380 points, about to hit down 400, and it's probably going to take out this low right here. And if this Brexit thing turns left, if this thing goes left, you can expect the Dow to probably be down a thousand points. And the pound may be down several thousand pips. It's just how it is, okay? It's the nature of the beast. And then you won't have but a minute to get in there if you're short or long volatility to take profit because then that's when the robots will be unleashed into the markets to prop them up and you'll see a gangster rally turn around that will make your head spin it'll break your neck to try to watch it so you're gonna want to be on guard take your profits early alright you, you try to watch it because things could get really really crazy and you could get fast market conditions and once they announce fast market conditions that's one step before they think about closing the markets so you don't want to be caught out there dangling if they close the markets you're gonna to want to take your profits immediately here we go we're down 401 points now take your profits immediately okay don't get greedy take your money and run so that way if they close the market you've already cashed out you got your money alright um, in addition to that um, you, if you wait too long if they don't close the market when the machines come in they'll they'll make this thing turn around so fast you won't be able to, to do anything and in fast market conditions they do not have to fill your orders just remember that they do not have to fill your mar your orders in a fast market all right they do not have to fill your orders in a fast market even market orders can be dissed and dismissed they can say I couldn't find a price for you I couldn't fill you I'm sorry sorry so don't fall victim to that if you're up big in the morning at that 930 open get the heck out of the market book your profits for Friday and keep it moving alright and then when the dust settles you can decide what you're gonna do from there but as of right now uh, this is what this market is looking like now I wanna show you something else real quick here's your gold now this is what I think the volatility shares are gonna look like in the morning here's your gold see how they beat poor gold down into the dust what did I say before they crash a market they pump it up before they blast the market off to the moon they crash it down because the powers that be they wanna they wanna get in at the cheapest price possible so they can ride all of this up here alright well that's what happened look at this if you were short the gold you, you bought the hype you drunk the kool-aid you you, you 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 got short well look what happened they they ran it right back okay now this is not really extraordinary yet not unless we get above 1300 now if this goal can get to can, can blast over 1300 even get to 1350 off this brexit stuff now that that will be powerful but as of right now it's still it's still a good nice explosion you see this huge gap up you you, you close down here at uh 1255 50 and as it stands right now mark's trading at um you know 1283 so that, that's quite that's quite a substantial move right now gold is up uh 19 bucks all right, here's your silver right now, and just so you know, right now, uh, the early uh, polls right now uh, over, over the Brexit is favoring leaving, so that's why you're seeing this pandemonium setting in. Silver right here is not as strong, though, on the ref on the reaction as the gold right now. You got a, a nice spike right here. All right, spike high to 1750. Right now, we're at 1740, but usually when you see a tail like that, this usually is like the carrot leading the donkey so this right here is gonna come and get that carrot and then just blast off this really doesn't mean anything so just to let you know that that's, that's a spike high but because of what's happening here that's gonna that's gonna take off alright so um 
Oh, one other thing I want to show you. All right, here is the crude oil. Look at the crude oil following the way of the pound. Look at that. All right, they ran it up to 50 bucks, and now here it is. They ran it all the way down to 48. So, two dollar move or 200 uh, pip move here in the um, in the oil. That's that's amazing, isn't it? Just how they're able to pimp these markets and get them to move any way they want them to. And by the way, the Nasdaq futures is down 105. Let's take a look at that. Incredible movement right now. Look at this. Look at this. Down 112 now in the Nasdaq. <laughs> Nasdaq 100 futures. Look at this. Incredible price action. And those who got long up here on the close, mm, you're hurting right now. You're being destroyed right now. I told you the market tries to set itself up to hurt as many people as possible. Where was the hurt coming from today? It was coming from the short side, not the long side. All right, if you if you went with the crowd, you're being destroyed right now. All right, here's your S and P 500. Look at it. Oh, there it is, new low now in the S and P 500. S and P 500 right now, as we speak, is down 56 and a quarter, 56 points and a quarter. Look at this. Look at the pain. They ran this thing all the way up to 2119 and a half. That was a key level too. That 20, that that 21. 10 to 2120 level was key that sucked in a lot of bulls and now here we are at 2050 man incredible incredible movement right now just hurting people's feelings right now in the worst way possible and look at the Nikkei Nikkei's down uh, about to hit 800 it's down 790 right now. It's about to be down 800. It was down more than 800 earlier, and look at us now. Here we are. This is absolutely bananas. Look at this super parabolic movement. Look at this movement. Incredible price action right now in these markets. And I'll leave you with this. This is the TVIX. They beat it down all day beat it down beat it down and then look even hit a low of 209 now look at it I suspect at the rate things are going when this market opens on tomorrow it'll probably open up here at three dollars anywhere from three to five dollars higher it's just it's just gonna gap and it's just gonna gap up and, and do that uh, especially if this brexit thing goes left and they uh, they decide to leave yeah this is probably gonna go to 20 30 maybe even 50 dollars especially if the Dow is down a thousand points by the time this thing opens in the morning yeah you can suspect that this uh this tvix or even the um the other volatility um funds yeah they'll be through the roof so unfortunately unless you uh unless you took some positions some some shorts you got long some of these volatility calls or something like that you're probably gonna get smoked and get your face completely ripped off right now and tomorrow and I'm sorry to hear that and if you're not following these pulse waves what are you doing with your life remember bulls make money bears make money and pigs get slaughtered so take what you can give nothing back and if tomorrow we wake up to pandemonium and the markets are down thousands of points you're going to be glad you got the Vulcan report and you followed the pulse waves. Nighty night.